I'm gonna dart it, and I'm gonna put a wine mark on your wall. Right, it's like airball. No. <laughs> you punk. This one's the best uncle. Okay, is, all right, oh. we'll just figure it out. Oh my. <laughs> You're the worst. I'm Callan Rowe, and I'm a student at Southern New Hampshire University. The morning started out as like a normal day. I was up at 7 a.m., I made my coffee, I, I had my first cup of coffee on the couch as I do every day. Um, kind of gather my thoughts, get ready for the day, and uh, make sure I have a good one. This was a special day. I had my family in town. Hey, bud. Morning. What are you guys up to? Aaron's putting Brighton down right now. Okay. We live actually not just in Seattle, we live in Woodinville, which is across the water. And we came here as a family, so it was myself, my husband Aaron, and our two kids, Brighton, and our daughter, Rosalind, who is almost seven months. Why don't we try the Science Center, a little bit of dinosaurs, a little bit of things he can like touch around yeah. with and be all smart and sciencey. While they're Perfect. napping, I'm gonna get some studying done, and then okay. we'll meet up after that. Do you want me to call you when he wakes up? How do you want to do this? Yeah, call me when he wakes up. Bye. Bye. I thought, okay, they've got about about an hour and a half, two hours. I can get to definitely get some studying done now before I get to play uncle and be exhausted for the rest of the time because I know I'll be able to do it later. So get home, have a cup of coffee, and kind of bunker down and, and make sure I get some studying done. At SNHU, I'm, I'm studying communications. I have a specialty in the journalism. You can make something great out of a guy's personal experience. I want to be that positive in the media, so maybe pursue that after my career. To have the opportunity to go to school when he's constantly traveling and constantly training, but to also get his education, I think that is important. And as a family, I'm very proud of what he's doing off the soccer field. I plan on graduating in about a year and a half. Hopefully a year, if I can have a little bit of time off in soccer, I can add another class in and get things done quicker. When they woke up a couple hours later, we called Kellen back, headed up to Union Station, and went to Science City. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay, good. You did get it? <laughs> Man, your arms were so fast, I didn't even see them move from your sides. <laughs> <laughs> what is it where you just like... <laughs> yeah. Say, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Mama. Mama. Hi, Papa. Kellen is known as the Funkle, which is the fun uncle. And I'm pretty sure he's one of Brighton's favorite people in the world. are always playing with each other. Kellen loves giving <laughs> uncle gifts with our, which are usually very noisy. Okay, we gotta go quick though. We gotta go quick, okay? We gotta go quick. Yeah, yeah. Up the stairs. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I think the funniest moment for me is, is watching Brighton roar at a play dinosaur that is roaring back at him. And he tries to roar louder which is amazing because I want him to compete and win at all things, which he did. Stop like a dinosaur! Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> he just cracks me up everything he does. Uh, so I, I laugh at I laugh at him every single time. It's broken. Oh. Do not enter door, it's broken. Got it. After Union Station, which was really cool, and we made our fort for tonight. Oh, there you go. Do you have that something? small guy out of here. The only thing we need is something tall. The Ford is just something I figured Brighton would would love. Uh, I wanted to make this day as, as, as fun as possible because I like fireworks. And the fact that we watched him last night at the game and he was not too fond of them because of the noise, I go, okay, w w let's make him enjoy this that much better. Too far. Too far. Too, too close. closer. <laughs> my favorite part of today was just sitting back and watching just my family just work. Hey, Bubba, where'd Uncle Hiki go? Where'd he go? Where'd Uncle Kiki go? You don't know? Easy over here. Come on, buddy. Oh, get in there. Go jump in. Come on. My relationship with Brighton changes every time I see him, but it's all love. I think he understands that I'm the uncle, uh, and luckily I'm the only uncle, so I'm the best uncle. And either way, I'd be the best uncle, so it was fine. Later, we're gonna watch the fireworks go. And boom. Boom. <laughs> he knows that all I'm there for is fun. He always wants to play, which is great for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that an alarm? Oh my goodness, that was so loud. 
<laughs> it's definitely a different kind of day for me. It's a special day when Brighton and Rosen are in town, when, when any kind of my family is in town. But it gives me a new respect for my sister and my brother-in-law, Aaron. I miss being around the kids. I want to be there at all times. I'll even take diaper duty if I have to, to be around them.